Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I thought I'd mention something about growing older and how it's like being a young child again. Of course, everybody knows that they call a, a older age a second childhood, but as far as the school of the theosophy teachings are concerned, why we could think of the different types of of minds of a human being, specifically the lower mind and the higher mind. As you may know, the lower mind has to do with the gut brain and with the Martian colonists that I've mentioned in other blogs. The higher mind is the brain's mind and the one that we use for better or for worse during most of our adult life. If you think about how a child is and how we treat a child, uh, a child does not have rational ability or analytical ability to speak of. And the same is true of an older senior citizen. Both are using their gut brain, otherwise known as their lower mental body or their lower mind. And the way of thinking of the gut brain has to do with the microbes in the gut or, or colon. An old, older senior citizen, like a very young child, is capable of great extremes of emotion, very great anger, temper tantrum stuff, or very great joy, happiness in the moment, in the eternal now. In this regard, an older senior citizen is capable of awareness, the soul's awareness, in the now. In today's uh, senior care facilities, the wonderful qualities of the senior citizen's mental approach are often overlooked, and in fact, even amongst kin, brothers, sisters, and children, the the way of thinking of the older senior citizen is often criticized and spoken of negatively and so the senior citizen can become very sad because of that. My suggestion is that we look at the senior citizens as if they were young children again and treat them with that same loving kindness with which we treat our children. I think that will be closer to the truth of the matter, for even if a senior citizen has what we term Alzheimer's or a d dementia, they are capable of, of interacting with us. On a level of childlike innocence that we were heretofore unable to experience with them, so that is something to look at. Let us treat our older senior citizens in the same loving way that we treat our very young children.